Greetings, unsettled souls! Welcome to the correct views and friends. I'm going to keep this short because I want to make sure that this gets shared heavily. It's great when great minds think alike. I like to entertain the idea that Ron Paul took the, uh, the idea from me, but I highly doubt it. But I do suggest reading the whole article. It's called Afghanistan, A Tragically Stupid War Comes to a Tragic End. It's uh, from Ron Paul, and it's worth reading. It absolutely is a must-read. But there is one thing in here that I wanted to focus on for this particular video, this installment of The Correct Views, of which you are watching. Thank you for hitting share and for hitting subscribe. All right, he goes into great detail here. I just passed it off about what it is we knew, when we knew it, and what we could have done differently. But listen, 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 this part stands out, and I want this to be its own little video so that everyone, please do this for me, hit share, hit subscribe, because this is monster important, which is why I, I said this yesterday before Mr. Paul said it today. Dr. Paul, excuse me. Yes, the whole exit from Afghanistan has been a debacle. Biden, but especially his military planners and incompetent advisors, deserve much of what has been piled on them this past week or so about, his, about this incompetence. Again, he's not saying it was wrong to leave. He was saying it was stupid to leave as we did. Maybe if Biden's Secretary of Defense and Joint Chief of Staff, Joint Chiefs Chairman, had spent a bit more time planning the Afghan exit and a lot less time obsessing how to turn the military into a laboratory for cultural Marxism, we might have actually had a workable plan. We know that actual experts like Colonel Douglas McGregor did have a plan to get out that would have spared innocent lives, but because this decorated U.S. Army veteran was tainted by his service under the previous administration, that would be the Trumpster, service that was solely focused on how to get out of Afghanistan safely, in other words, he didn't have anything else to do with Trump, he would not be consoled by the Pentagon's woke military brass. So that, that's one example. And then we're gonna I want you to hit share because I'm gonna give you some examples here and I'm gonna give them to you concisely. You're about to get a whole bunch of correct views right in a row, so put your seatbelts on. Because he worked with Trump in the past, because he helped Trump do what even his distract detractors say he did well, prevent people from killing Americans. They were terrified of him. Because he did that well and he helped Trump to achieve it, they didn't listen to McGregor. While the Taliban, now here, listen to this, while the Taliban was doing the planning to which they executed to take over the country, our military had, look it up, our military had our soldiers walking in red high heels so that they would know what it felt like to be a woman and to be trans. I don't care if I offend you with this statement or not. I really don't. I don't give a rat's ass what it feels like to be a woman or to be trans. I don't expect a woman to care what it feels like to be me. Live your own damn life and quit pretending you're a victim. End of story. While we were sitting here... Oh, I'm not even nearly done. While we were sitting here, we're in the military now. The military! We were tied up worrying about whether or not... Black Lives Matter, we're, we're going to take down this statue, and, and we have to take them, we, we've got the, the generals out here saying, yeah, you know, I myself was a, had to overcome a lot of white privilege. Meanwhile, while we're talking about things which do not exist, yes, I mean white privilege, while that is going on, the Taliban is figuring out where they can get their weapons. They're figuring out which people they can get to surrender as soon as they move into the city. While our CIA was releasing videos about how they included trans people, oh, it's so nice. While we were doing that, do you know what was happening? The Taliban was making sure that the people who were in the Afghan security forces were ready to drop and back down the moment the Taliban moved forward. Don't tell me that these Taliban were amazing fighters. I was watching a video of them trying to work out in a gym. 
You've never seen anything more pathetic in your life. These people, half the time, don't look at the site when they fire a gun. They just start shooting. The, the average 16-year-old in the woods knows as much about fighting a strategic war as the Taliban does. This happened. As Ron Paul said, as I said yesterday, this happened because we were too busy worrying about whether or not a man can be a woman and which bathroom we were going to piss in while the Taliban was pissing on us. That's the correct view.